Bridge Publications, Los Angeles, California. It stands 276,000 square feet and stretches an entire city block. It's all under one roof, administrative offices, manufacturing and distribution. Moreover, it's a publishing house unlike any on earth, with state-of-the-art technology pushed to new limits not even thought possible by the manufacturing industry. And it's all exclusively dedicated to making L. Ron Hubbard's works available to everyone, everywhere. To begin, all raw materials are purchased directly from their source. And quantities are massive as in minimum stocks of 20 tons of polycarbonate pellets to manufacture CDs and 3,500 miles of paper. The point? Quantity equals purchasing power, so material costs are absolutely rock bottom. But that's just the first step to ensuring these books and lectures are accessible to all. Next, it's manufacturing. Virtually every 21st century publisher still runs on 20th century technology. Bridge, on the other hand, is 100% digital, the only such facility on Earth. That means every component on the line is computerized. Select the digital file for any book, push a button, and the presses roll. And all without wasting a page. Consequently, it costs exactly the same to print a copy of Dianetics in English as in Bengali, Farsi, Swahili, or Urdu. Hence, distribution is no longer hindered by the high price of printing smaller quantities for pioneer lands. So, whether it's 100 or 100,000, the cost remains the same. Of course, given the nature of these materials, no detail is spared, right down to covers and labels. It's another digital process with a one-of-a-kind finishing machine built especially for bridge. And here's something no other publisher does. It's all overlaid with plastic laminate. The point here, these materials are literally waterproofed for durability. The book binding line is likewise all about quality to ensure hardcovers last a lifetime. Here's where the interior pages are glued and bound between covers. This particular machine holds the distinction of having bound every hardback book that Bridge has produced to date. And given LRH's beginning books are now published in 50 languages and demand is global, this one does paperbacks. It's been tuned the same way for maximum output, binding 6,000 books an hour or just over a million a week. Thumb notches are traditionally reserved for encyclopedias or limited editions because they have to be applied by hand. Yet applying tabs to the volume of LRH books printed would have required 100 staff 12 hours a day. So again, it was the design and manufacture of a one-of-a-kind machine, operated by a complement of three. Coil binding is another job usually done by hand and at the quantities produced would have required still another hundred staff. But yet again, Bridge laid out the specs for a machine that not only automates the entire process, it delivers a finished product 40,000 times a day, or a quarter million per week, operated by a complement of two staff. And if that's transcripts, these are the lectures themselves. The CD line at Bridge begins with hoppers of polycarbonate pellets, which are first melted and then routed under high pressure into the replication equipment. It times out from raw material to a stamped CD every half a second. Once again, because it's all in-house, costs for 100 lectures in Hebrew are the same as 100,000 in English. While just for the record, from stamping to printing the label on the disc, Bridge rolls out a million LRH lectures every week. Typically, any CD one purchases is also packaged by hand, but given the number of titles Bridge carries, it would have taken yet another hundred staff just to keep up. So it was another custom-built innovation. In the final equation, it's two machines plus four staff inserting 16,000 CDs per hour. And so it goes across the rest of the manufacturing line. Everything from application of lecture binder labels to automatically filling the binders themselves with lectures, transcripts, and supplementary materials. All in addition to shrink wrapping and boxing. 
and every step automated and refined for massive production. But if that's manufacturing, there is still all that's been put in place to deliver these materials to the public. First, every item in the 2.6 million cubic foot bridge warehouse is stored sequentially against the materials guide chart, the chronological listing of golden age of knowledge books and lectures. Moreover, it's all tied to a central computer that tracks inventory. As orders are filled, a reprint is automatically triggered so nothing ever runs out of stock something no other publishing house in the world can do. And considering that's every title in every language, it's 1.5 million books and another 15 million CDs on hand at all times. The shipping department is likewise automated from start to finish. When an order arrives, it immediately enters the system, subsequently setting off a chain of events, generating a barcoded packing label, affixing it to the correct size box, and sending it down the conveyor for shipping. The system is even programmed to access the precise weight of every item on the shelf. Boxes are weighed at checkpoints along the line, and if the weight doesn't match what the order should contain, the computer rejects the box and automatically routes it for handling. At the final stage, orders are sealed and scanned. The computer instantly calculates the most economical method of shipping and prints the appropriate label, be it FedEx, UPS, or any other carrier, at which point it's automatically routed to the correct truck for that shipper. And if all that is massive in scope and detail, then double it again, because it's also the same in Copenhagen, Denmark where New Era Publications manufactures and provides for UK and the totality of Scientology's European territories. Combine it all, and without these newly established organizations, dissemination of L. Ron Hubbard's fully restored works would never have occurred. From classics to the basics, congresses to advanced clinical courses, from books and audiobooks to beginning books in 50 languages. Then add in extension courses, book courses, and lecture courses for each, not to mention grading manuals as well, all of them translated in multiple foreign tongues. Until here they are, the more than 10,000 editions that represent the full recovery and restoration of L. Ron Hubbard's written and recorded legacy. And with what stands today at Bridge Publications and New Era Publications, it is a legacy available on demand to meet any demand now and into the future. So yes, it is not only the golden age of knowledge complete, but it also has sparked a renaissance of Scientology itself.